Hi, Serial Key Manager is an online validation system based on SKGL API. In this video, I would like to describe the three most important concepts in Serial Key Manager. The first one is key validation, the second one is key activation, and the third one is key generation. Before we start, I would like to introduce you to the idea behind Serial Key Manager. So what it, what it allows you to do is to actually it, it allows you to have one place where you can store all your serial keys that you've generated so that it's so easy to access them anywhere, anytime in the world. Uh, the only thing you need is an account and um, uh, once that's done you are able to start. Uh, the idea, the, the second idea here is that you don't have to store or you don't have to host a server that is going to take all these key generation or key validation requests. So for example, when your application is going to uh, see if and check whether the key is valid or invalid, you will have to have some sort of server. And this particular issue is solved with the Serial Key Manager. You already have a server for that particular purpose with a lot of tools. And the ones that I've mentioned, these three concepts, key validation, key activation, and key generation, are some of them that are available in this platform. So before we start with these concepts, I'd like to again just show you the way it looks like and then we can go back, come back to these uh, terms and describe them more in detail. So I'm just going to log in into my account. Please notice that you are able to use any service you like. For example, if you have a Microsoft account, Twitter account, Facebook account or a Google account, it's just to choose. But I'm going to log in with, my, with an existing account. So here's a, it's quite a simple interface, um, and uh, if you haven't done so already, you have to create a new product, but I'm going to show you some of the products that I've already create, uh, created. So for example, here I have a product, and I have some keys generated. You can see the control panel, you get some details uh, for each key, and uh, and so on. So you can, and you can do some stuff, and if you press on the key, you get some additional information you can do or change and uh, you also have um, the advanced tab where you can uh, specify other details and uh, there are things like some pages that show you the way the whole system works so basically uh, these concepts I've mentioned key validation activation and, and key generation uh, they are platform independent and as long as you can send a request to the server um, and uh, ask the server whether the key is valid or invalid or if you want to activate the key or generate a new key everything is done by simple requests and um, this page in particular shows you different variables that you can use and uh, by selecting a specific product you can choose which key or uh, which variables and the values that these variables should have so you can kind of get them there straight away from this website um, so key validation that's the first thing I'd like to talk about basically uh, key validation in serial key manager is uh, a way to kind of validate whether the key is valid and, um, and and then it allows you to check some other details for example when the key was created when it will expire, some features that belong to that key, and uh, uh, there there are other things, for example, machine code and so on, and notes, for example. So there's there are many things you can validate. The key activation feature is more like that you, you can actually lock a specific key. So for example, if you look at one product I have here, if you press on any key here, um, you can specify how many machines that you like that key to be valid on, and and then each time you activate the, each these machines, a, a record is going to be stored. So key activation actually is kind of a way to restrict access to a specific key. So for example, say it's a it's a key that should be valid for 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 example uh, in a company or for the uh, valid uh, for a network, for example, for one particular 
network and so on. So for example, the, the R you can classify in any in many ways, sort of. So, but but the simple way is to simply tell that uh, you can have a specific amount of computers. But if you want to extend this a bit further, you can also uh, make sure that uh, it's for a specific domain. Uh, so that that's about key activation and external key generation is that you can actually use this service to generate new keys and uh, that's also platform independent as I've mentioned and uh, all these variables you can see on this page uh, can be set you can specify all these variables uh, during key validation uh, key generation so if you've if you're already familiar with the software protector it's um, a graphical user interface of SKGL API you you might have this issue already that you, I mean once you generate the key and then you close the application you don't know which keys you've already generated there is no record stored on the computer uh, serial key manager solves this this problem as well and uh, for example as you can see these are my different products they have a password and uh, uh, all the keys are stored here and I can just open and see all the keys I've generated uh, so it keeps track of all your keys and uh, the good thing about this is that you can access it on any platform anywhere as long as you have your account uh, well that's it um, since we've now looked at um, these particular features uh, I would like to also mention that uh, when you validate keys, there are different options. For example, you can you can say that okay, we validate the key only once. For example, if you just want to validate or activate the key once, and then you don't check whether the key is valid or invalid. So you 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 get information from the server signed by the server for you, uh, telling this is the this field, so this, this is when the key is created, when it will expire, and so on. And you get that information, and then you don't need to check anymore, and you can also be confident that that information isn't modified by the client, because it's signed by uh, using public-private key cryptography. So, and the external key generation feature that I've also talked about today is a good good functionality to have if you for example have another um, application where you perform the the purchase so for example uh, if you have an online store where you sell your product you can integrate it with serial key manager so that each time someone purchase your product the request is going to be sent to the server and in the same way this request is, I mean it, it will generate the key and send it back to the client so or back to this application that that prefer, performs this order there are so, some applications that allow you to do so um, that's it uh, to finish off this tutorial I mean th there is a lot of information about serial key manager if you I, I've just kind of tried to briefly give you an idea about serial key manager if you like there is uh, if you just press help you'll get to our support page where you can get basically everything I've talked about and uh, some for example JSON integration and how you can get the data in JSON and so on so there, there are plenty of things you can get here uh, but to finish off I would like to show you how this uh, uh, how key validation works in real life so how does it work because I've just talked about it I've given you the theory but not how it works in practice so here's an application I've created I've inserted the variables that I got on that page and uh, net, now let's start it. So here's my validation box. Uh, I'm going to go to the test product. I'm going to create a new key. And we can say that, okay, this key is going to be valid on maximum amount of, so basically one machine. And I'm going to tell you why. Since I'm in the end of this tutorial now, I'm going to show you that this actually works because I'm going to use it on another machine just to show you that that this, the count matters very it's very very important to specify the right number here so number one so one machine I think this is it we keep it as it is and we create a new key uh, and I think it's on page two 
Uh, okay, here's the key. So we copy this key. Uh, let's see here. Oh, I copy the key and we insert it into this. And by the way, just to make to show you that it doesn't work to just enter something totally random. Well, you see, it doesn't work. Uh, now, if we enter this key, we're going to get a message telling that it successfully has been activated on this computer. In this control panel, you can actually see that it's been activated. This is the machine code I've decided to create. Of course, Serial Key Manager isn't restricted to any specific uh, machine code, so you can basically have your own machine code, or if you want to get it to be valid on a specific domain, you can do that as well. So as long as there is a specific string that identifies that computer. So key validation is done. So if I activate it again, uh, there is, yeah, it's valid. Uh, so, okay, since I'm going to show, the, the, show this on another computer, I'm going to kind of end this part of the video. So basically, uh, if you are interested about Serial Key Manager, please feel free to visit the website serialkeymanager.com. As a summary, Serial Key Manager is a, kind of a server that's hosted for you, so you don't have to host your own server that, first of all, allows you to generate new keys, validate the keys, you can validate the keys from your application, generate the keys from your application, and activate, and so on. There are plenty of features. But now, I'd like to launch this application on another computer. So, let's see how it works. So, <clears throat> basically, this is the first computer, as you can see, you can, I mean, you might recognize the the background. Uh, and now we go to the second computer with the same application, but in Windows uh, 7. And we try to enter the key. So I've, I think I've already copied it. So if, as you can see, paste the key. Uh, and we try to activate this on the new computer. And we get the key is invalid, and that's exactly what we are supposed to get. But as you can see, it means the same key, but since we've only specified one machine, here the key is going to be valid, but here it's going to be invalid. Uh, and of course, by logging in, into the in this control panel, you can specify that two computers can use that key, uh, and uh, I mean we could do it right now. I hope you. It's still possible to see something. So, for example, in this window, we specify that we would like to have two two machines or two computers being able to run this key. We go back to this computer and we activate it. And the whole thing works simply by changing some things in in, in control panel. Uh, a last thing I'd like to show you is that if someone would gain access to this key, you're always able to block it. So if you'd like to block a key, simply specify that in the uh, in the control panel and save it. And from now on, activating the key will not work on any machine. So, it doesn't work. Well, thank you very much for watching this tutorial. Uh, I hope it was still possible to see something, even the, if the screen, screen resolution might not be the best right now. Anyway, uh, there's going to be a link below this video the way, uh, so, so you can access the application and try these really cool features out for yourself. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.